Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video I'm going to be helping you guys complete all four of these Forzathon challenges in the next Forzathon events for Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, so without further ado let's get stuck in. Now I do apologise beforehand because I will be flying through these little sort of individual challenges. Reason being is I just want to skip out all the racing, I don't want to bore you guys to death, I want to get straight to the point, so I'm mainly going to be showing you the setups, letting you obviously, you know, get the gist of the racing yourself, uh, and showing you it that way, so I do get to the point and I don't bore you to death. Anyway, there are some very, very cool prizes, they're very easy challenges, so let's get stuck in here on the first one, which just wants you to complete three laps in Prague, uh, and this is to get you on your way to winning the Aston Martin V12 Zagato. So anyway, what you want to do is obviously in single play, go over to free play, Go to race setup, find the Prague track. Now, one other thing I just want to point out is I don't, at the minute, in these videos, I'm not doing it to one or two laps. I'm doing it to about three or four. Now, the reason being, um, and I'm mainly doing it on the full circuits as well, uh, the reason for this is I'm sure that, as you're aware, in the past, the Forza Thons on Forza Motorsport 7 have been incredibly, you know, frustrating uh, in terms of they won't always register that you've done a certain challenge, and it's really, really fucking annoying. So what I'm doing to make sure that it damn well registers uh, is I'm I'm doing about three or four laps on a full circuit now I know it's not as quick as I normally would be but it's to make sure that it registers and it definitely completes said challenge so you can try it on a couple of laps but I've done it this way and this has worked for me every single time in this challenge event um, so I'd recommend doing it that way now the next challenge here wants you to complete three laps in Rio de Janeiro so again like the challenge before the same thing over to free play, over to setup and race setup, and you will obviously find the Rio de Janeiro track. Like I said, I did it to the full circuit, um, and I did it to about three or four laps. Now, like I said before, I've had the problem where I've done it to one or two laps, and it's not registered um, in certain events. You know, not these ones, because obviously these ones specifically want you to do three laps in those races. Um, but previously, where it says, you know, complete a race on said track, and I'll do one or two laps, it won't register that that event has been done. So even if it's not just three laps, for example, in these challenges, uh, it just wants you to do a race. I will be doing it to three or four laps to make sure that it registers that I get the challenge done. For example, this one here, complete a race on the Dubai City Circuit. Now, obviously, it says what specific track in Dubai it wants you to do, but it doesn't say the laps. So previously, if I've done one or two laps, it won't register that I've completed the challenge. So in this one here, I think I set it to about three or four laps again, just to make sure that, you know, it knows that I've done it. And when I come out to the Forza Fun, um menu again it won't still have it available to say that it's completed uh, so there you go obviously you've got to find the dubai track press x to find the specific city circuit track again i've done it to four laps but i'm in a fairly quick car so if you do use a hyper car you'll get it done in no time really you know it's about a minute 20 per lap so it is still fairly easy and this first set of challenges here have now been completed and that took me just under about 10 minutes so they are fairly easy and you do come out of it with a very cool prize which is a 2012 aston martin v12 zagato um, don't worry if it doesn't pop up after you complete that last race it might take for another race to be completed before the prize pops up it's incredibly weird again turn 10 sort it out anyway the next set of challenges here uh, the first one wants you to complete a, a race with braking line on only and this is in order to win the freezer burn driver gear so obviously what you're going to want to do is pick a race now you can pick whichever track you want i just you know stuck with this one it randomly selected for me at the bernie's alps same with the amount of laps and the specific track now you can keep all of your other assists the exact same to what you have them all you want to do is change that braking line one to braking line only, complete the race and you'll get the challenge done. Uh, the next one here wants you to complete a lap on Spa at night. So two specifics in this one. So yet again, going back into free play, over to setup, uh, and then you'll go over to the left, uh, well, it's at the very end. So it's Circuit Dispa, Frank Corps. Uh, I think it's Frank Champs. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I'm not going to try and pronounce it anymore. Um, and then you want to change it to night time. Now I left the laps the exact same to four and the left it at the full circuit i believe um, like i said it really doesn't take that long but it just means that if you do it to one or two laps and it doesn't work you're obviously gonna have to go back over and do it again and it's just a waste of time so just get it out of the way first time um, anyway the last challenge here wants you to complete a race in a forza group rally division car in the rain so this is another fairly easy one this set of challenges again took me about 10 minutes i mean actually sort of editing this video took me longer than it did to do all the forza thons uh, anyway you can pick whichever track you want so i picked the homestead one um, I set it to three laps, circuit race, rain, and then obviously you change the car division to Forza Group Rally. Uh, I do apologise about 
in the next couple of minutes my capture card has played up a little bit for some reason uh, anyway down to the cars i recommend using the 2016 subaru number 75 uh reason is it's just the fastest out of all of them uh, and obviously i had to take, turn my braking line off because i never use it and it, i just think it's a distraction but anyway so there is the gear the freezer burn stuff um slight frozen reference there but anyway um so the beginning of the next set of challenges it just wants you to change your driver gear so you come out the forzathon event tab turn left to driver gear and then change it to a different one of what you're wearing uh, and you'll complete the first challenge the next one here just wants you to complete a drag race so another very very easy one like I said, I apologise about the capture card quality here. Uh, so what you want to do is go down and change it to drag. You can change the drive task to whatever you want. I just left it at 6. Um, and I did it again for hypercar division. Now you can do it in whatever division you want. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to get it you know, over and done with and out of the way sort of thing. So I did it to hypercars because uh, I knew that I was going to use my Porsche 918 Spider. Um, then all you've got to do is obviously change your car to whichever you want. So whether it's Bugatti Veyron or you know a, F a ford mustang it doesn't matter at all go to the race do the race now it doesn't matter where you finish i somehow just scraped first there it was miraculous but anyway that bugatti is very very quick um and then obviously you're going to want to quit the event and then there's that challenge done to so another very very easy one that took a couple of minutes maximum uh, and the third challenge here just wants you to complete five laps on the test track airfield this is the final challenge so it's another very easy one uh, it's just a little bit more time consuming so obviously you go over to your setup and your race setup you will then change it back to circuit. Remember that, don't leave it on drag. Um, I made that mistake for a little while, it confused me. Uh, and then you'll go over to the test track airfield. Now there's only one specific track on here. Change it to five laps and you can make the amount of driver tiles whatever you want. I do it to a sort of minimum level. Um, so obviously there's not enough confusion and people getting in my way. Stuck with the Porsche 918 again. Obviously, it doesn't matter where you finish, but first is better, obviously. Uh, cross the finish line, and then obviously you'll have the achievement, and you will have then won the 2015 Jaguar XKR SGT, which is another very cool prize. Now, for once, the prize has actually popped up straight away uh, after these last couple of events, except for the first one, it didn't. So don't worry, like I said before, if it doesn't pop up straight away, all you have to do is one more race, and then it'll pop up after that. It's very, very weird. Don't know what's going on. I think this game isn't really complete, but anyway... Uh, so for the final set of Forza Fun challenges, first one here wants you to complete three laps on Brands Hatch in a British car. So this is a very, very easy one again. Going back over to your free play tab and then to race setup where you will obviously go to the Brands Hatch. Now I stuck with the normal full circuit here, uh, the Grand Prix one. I set it to three or four laps. There are four laps. Um, now I took away any car division so I could pick whichever British car I wanted. In the end, I went with the Noble M600, I think it is. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have this car. You can always rent it or buy it from, uh, obviously, the auto show, show and stuff. This is a British car, and it is actually surprisingly very easy to control. I was worried that it would be very tail-happy, but it wasn't. It was actually a very good car. Um, and all you have to do is finish that race at Brands Hatch. Like I said, I did four laps. You can do three. Might not be worth risking it for one, because it might not count as a race. It might not register. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, that's the first challenge. The next one wants you to go at least 120 mile an hour at Homestead Miami in the 1957 Chevy Bel Air so this is another very easy challenge it's doable trust me uh, only just to about 122 mile an hour uh, anyway select the track which is Homestead now I made it the full circuit one the speedway which normally NASCAR will go around um, I put a couple of driver tiles on there and I did it for four laps because I didn't know how good the car would be. In the end, I had to rent it because I don't own one. So you want to pick this specific 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air there. Um, so pick that one and it, you'll do about 120 to 123 sort of thing unless you modify it. But I left it as normal. I just rented it. So when you've hit that speed, do not come out of the event. You want to finish it all the way across the finish line. So don't quit early because it might not register. Like I said, it's very temperamental, these Forza Thons, which is incredibly annoying. When you've completed it, you come out, collect all your prizes, and it will register on the Forza Thon uh, tab. And then the final challenge wants you to complete a race on Suzuka in the 1992 Honda NSX-R, which is a very, yet again, easy challenge. Back over to free play, back into the race setup tab where you will pick the Suzuka circuit. No, I did the full circuit again, but you can pick whichever one you want. And I set it to four laps with a few driver tiles, changed car division back to anything, 
and I don't yet again own the Honda NSX just make sure you pick the 1992 one so that's the pre-facelift version and then all you want to do is complete that race doesn't matter where you finish uh, and then you will get the achievement as you can see here and you will win the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta so another very cool prize and some very very easy challenges just a bit time consuming anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed this I hope I didn't go too fast I obviously wanted to get straight to the point if there is more clarification needed, either go back into the video and watch it again, or please do put it in the comments and I will try my best to help you guys out. Remember, these Forzathons are very temperamental, so if something doesn't pop up straight away, you might have to wait a little while, but don't worry about it. Anyway, guys, a massive thank you for your support. I hope that this helped you out and that it wasn't too quick or annoying, uh, but thank you very much and good luck with all these Forzathon challenges.